one is very heavy. I did shock myself. I actually did buy another heat press. So about two weeks ago, this happened. My son was on here and then he like put, I don't know, there was like a little nut, a little like screw thing that he put up there. I didn't see it. I barely closed the laptop and it was like dark I, and I heard like a crack. I wasn't sure what it was. When I came back to it, turned the lights on, I saw that it had cracked right here. But it started off small, like it was probably like a fourth, no, a third of the size and it's just been growing and spreading. So yeah, it was time for a new computer. Specifically, a desktop. I don't think I've had a desktop computer since high school. And it was like a big chunky, a big like Windows computer. Everything after that has been laptops. So this is my first, I would consider this to be my first desktop computer. So that's exciting. Let's open it. Oh my gosh. I know what I was expecting, but it's just opening it is so much more exciting. Whoa! Oh! It's a suitcase. It's going on a business trip. I'm out of here. Like, I'm small. I'm five, like one and a half, maybe. Look at This is massive. If you have been following me on Instagram or have seen my previous videos, uh, you'll know that I started this painting back in beginning of February. You're probably thinking, what are you doing painting a Valentine's Day still life in March? My idea was to finish this around Valentine's Day, not to necessarily have art prints. It was really just for me and to like have something cute and fun for Valentine's Day to paint. But it's what, almost, it's the end of March and <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not done and that's okay. I had a market to prep for, um, I'm a stay at home mom. And yeah, my schedule just gets full pretty quickly. That's okay, I'm taking this painting as a chance to slow down when I need it, when I need to kind of break up my, my week when it gets chaotic. It's been really nice to use that time to do just that. completely dried up. Um, I need a new one because this is not going to work.
think it's been a while. I honestly don't know when's the last time I showed my face or when's the last time I updated. I ordered like three huge rolls of DTF sheets. It was my biggest order yet. It was like, I don't know, maybe like $300 worth. So let's open that. This is chunky one. You still can't find it, babe? It's on your desk. This one is very heavy. Okay, since I ordered so many, they, they just put it on one giant roll. Like I kept unrolling it thinking it was gonna cut off and it has yet to do so. I'm gonna have to start cutting these and then I can unroll the rest of it because there's no space to unroll everything. giant roll just in three small piles that's crazy Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I did shock myself right now trying to put this back inside. So maybe don't do what I just did. I was trying to fix this button because it was, this is supposed to be like the reset button, but it doesn't have like any, what's the word, like resistance. So I don't even think this button is working either. I saw one video that said maybe try replacing this cord. So I'm gonna see if I have one, an extra one. If not, I'm gonna order one off of Amazon. But I already reached out to the company that makes the heat presses. So I'm hoping they respond soon. I still have all those shirts and sweaters and totes to make. I'm waiting to hear back from the company who makes the heat presses. In the meantime, I bought a new cord to see if that'll fix it, but I actually did buy another heat press, which um, I'll talk about later. I also bought new paper bags for the market. I was thinking about buying like a stamp to put on the bags, put my logo on the bags, but um, I was watching Suge, Hey Suge's video recently and she just took like stickers with her logo on it, put them on the bags. So I'm gonna do that because it's easier. And she also said it hurt her hand having to stamp every single one. And with my carpal tunnel, I realized that won't be good either. So stickers it is. So I've only had that heat press for two and a half months maybe and it's dead. I'm still in contact with the company. They said they weren't gonna send me like any replacements until like up to two weeks and I have a market coming up. I just can't wait that long. Frankie convinced me just not to wait and just get a more high quality one. That way I can have all the stock I need for next weekend. I'm a little bit worried this is not gonna fit on my table. Still the same like printing size, 15 by 15, but I feel like it's gonna be a little bit wider and heavier. This one is like a high pressure. 
So I'm hoping that it'll take less time to press the shirts. If you use heat press machines, I'm pretty sure you've heard of them. your help babe uh, it's heavy Careful. more pressure yeah after oh oh whoa oh yeah I can already tell a difference Oh, I'm really stoked about that. Oh, this feels so much nicer. Yeah, the only downside is like, oh, it just came a little bit flaky right here, like on the paint, I guess. Honestly, I can deal with that. Okay, I've only just set it up and read through the instructions, messed with this to see how it works, and everything looks good so far. I can already tell a difference in quality um, with this, and the pressure is definitely a lot higher. how cute these little boxes are. Oh, wait, these are bigger. The ones before, I think I ordered from maybe Smart Levels. I also changed the QR code. Before I had just a QR code for Etsy and then I had like my handle for Instagram. This one's actually for my link tree. If you pause this and scan this, it'll take you to my link tree. favorite snack mm -hmm. entire world. I mean you can tell because it's the whole thing gone. Yes. <laughs> I just filled it up today. display ones that way it's sturdy oh that cold chill right when I was little had a rain center shrine we're going to Denny's yeah. rain, like, I only got nine 